Diana D'Alessandro, I'm 26. And I'm a chemist. As a chemist, I work in a laboratory making new compounds. I'm working with compounds which are called porphyrins. They're like big light sponges, so they can collect a huge amount of light energy. And we're now applying them in new devices that can hopefully produce renewable energy alternatives. Well, we've dubbed our porphyrins the electronic leaf, and the reason is that they're just like chlorophylls. I chose this particular project because I found it really amazing that we could recreate in the laboratory what's out in nature and in fact we could use the efficiency of natural systems like photosynthesis to help us to build better solar cells to better power our world. When I was at school I chose chemistry because it helped to explain why the things were the way they were in the world around me which was something that always fascinated me from when I was a young kid. <laughs> I've had a fairly straight career path. After I finished high school, I did a Bachelor of Science degree. I really enjoyed chemistry, so I went on and did an honours degree. I liked that so much that I decided to do a PhD. So I'm still in a university, but now I'm working as a postdoctoral fellow in a molecular electronics group. I love everything about my job. I love the fact that I can use that curiosity and inquisitiveness I have and I can combine that with all the other sorts of skills in terms of being a part of a bigger group, so teamwork is very important. Sometimes I wish I could just push a button and the experiment would be all done. <laughs> but chemistry is a bit more involved than that. So it does involve coming in on weekends occasionally. So you work around the chemistry, the chemistry doesn't always work around you. <laughs> it's a worldwide career, so chemists are in demand in not only in academia, but in industry as well. And Australia is facing a lot of challenges at the moment in terms of using its energy better and using its resources more efficiently. So. Scientists will always be in demand because we need people who understand these problems and who understand them well. The most important thing in choosing a career is to do what you love, whatever that might be. So if you enjoy trying to understand why things are the way they are, then science is for you. And if you enjoy in particular understanding how molecules come together to make this incredible world that's around us, then chemistry is definitely for you. I really love being out in nature and that really has inspired my chemistry. While I'm out jogging, I love to look at the trees around me and I think it's amazing that we can create the process of photosynthesis in trees in our laboratory. Everything that we wear, everything that we eat, everything that we touch is made of molecules and chemistry helps us to understand how those molecules are put together to be the way they are. So, Chemistry is just life. I'm excited about the fact that we're recreating what's out in the beautiful world around us and we're using that to do incredible things to help to power our world.